Hi children, I am very happy to step into this class 6 and today we will be discussing about the chemistry. In a particular way, we will go with a one particular chapter that is the periodic classification of elements. Now, this periodic classification of the element chapter is further divided into smaller segments as goal 1, goal 2, goal 3 with the subtopic. So, that in a simplified in easy manner we can learn this whole chapter. Okay. To start with we will look at the goal 1 general introduction, general introduction. Now, we live in this universe we are very very happy. Now, actually what is universe what it is made of? So, if you look at the universe So, universe consists of only two important things. What are those? They are radiations, radiations and matter. So, the whole universe is made up of these two important things. What are radiations? Radiations are nothing but the, the light that is being emitted by the stars and the planets stars and the planets and the sun. So, sun is the, the main source of all the light. So, sun is the king of all sources of light and then we have the stars here. Okay. Now, coming to the matter. In a simple definition, matter is nothing but any substance that have a mass have a mass and occupy occupy space so these are the two important characteristics of a matter now let us list down and see the substances or the material or those things that we come across that are having the mass and the space yes air that we breathe then food that we eat then clothes that we wear of course animals animals do have weight and then occupy space yes even plants also plants also comes under the matter Yes, even a small tiny particle that is the uh, sand particle, sand particle also can be considered as the matter. Yes, drop of a water, drop of water H2O. So, all these comes under the matter because they have the mass and they occupy the space. Yeah, the space. Now, matter also consists of very very tiny small particles. The particles are so tiny and so small is that they are beyond our imagination. Okay. So, matter also consists of particles. So, these particles are very small, very small in size and they are beyond beyond our imagination beyond our imagination so for example if you take the a pulley stop a small tiny dot this small tiny dot itself consists of 10 raised to power 20 particles in it can we believe it just one dot consists of 10 raised to 20 particles in it. So, such is the size of the particle, such is the size of the particles. So, here under the matter we also see the element, we also come across the element which is also a tiny particle. What is an element? Element is the, the basic, basic 
form of matter which cannot be further subdivided into simpler form by the chemical changes or the by the chemical processes so which cannot be divided into simpler simpler forms by chemical changes these are the ones okay so according to john dalton he said element is such a tiny small particle which cannot be further subdivided which cannot be subdivided so let us try to do some small activity here now take a one full scale paper now let us all of us try to see as to how many folds we can make it yes how many folds you can make 10 okay let us try here rohit says he can make 10 and what about you yes kartik says he can make 8 but i am saying i can only make 7 not more than 7 so let us try okay first fold then we got the second fold then we got the third fourth fifth sixth and then with lot of difficulty with lot of difficulty we make the seventh and then after this we cannot make any more so like that if you take any matter okay chalk is a matter so if you start began to break this into number of smaller particles a stage will come where the small tiny particle that is sticking to your sticking to my hand cannot be further subdivided so that's what it is so as the days are going on and the people the scientists are more interested in the elements so as of now there are now 117 elements elements so far discovered how many how many yes 117 elements were so far discovered okay so this is the the general introduction of the gold one for the periodic classification of the element in the next goal we will see how these elements are being classified under what conditions are on on what basis they are being classified have a nice day thank you